Okay, Zenbach is here on Zenbach's Forte. I'm in the corners of Chiller Theater. That's what I am, in the corners of Chiller Theater. There are scream queens to meet. There are vendors to meet. You never know what kind of creatures or personalities or little quirks of sci-fi and horror we're going to meet. But you know what? It's here at Chiller Theater. And they even have all this cool stuff out here. I noticed... Uh, there's a monster bash for those people that are into it. Uh, a film expo. And um, this one's in Pennsylvania. They leave stuff like for information here. This is cool, the monster bash convention. Another one in June. And uh, that's what they do. Anyway, come with me on Zenbox Forte. Hey, let's go. Well, Zenbox has managed to find his way into a cove. A shark's cove. Hi, Shark. I'm Zenbach. How are you? I'm fine. I'm Shark. I'm your barbarian for the day. You're my barbarian for the day. Okay. So how do you like Chiller? It's a little crowded this year, huh? We're loving it. All these people came just to see me. Oh, yeah. And they, they come to see the other people, too. Yeah, a couple of those girls, the Scream Queens and all that. Oh, boy. Yeah, you had one over there. I have to notice uh, it was very well anyway. Well, so We're enjoying it. I would do. So tell me what you got here. What, what, what are the goodies in this little corner? Oh, I make a wide variety of uh, toys for all occasions, everything from kitchen cutlery to, uh, oh, uh, pieces for martial artists and chefs and hunters and collectors of all kinds. You make? I make. You make, okay. I, so. I sculpt in steel, I sculpt in bronze, um, all media. Wow, wow. Can you show me a couple pieces? Well, this particular piece here is a personal sort of mine. This has mammoth ivory inlays, sculpted steel fittings. A boot on the bottom. A very high-tech... No, this is not a boot. No, see, I, what a, did we learn? This is a wood spirit with a little sea You're right. monster on Look at that, look at that, look at that. It is a wood spirit. Oh, yes. All right. And we have a shark pursuing a squid up here on the guard. And then I have engravings on the high carbon chromoly stainless blade, nothing but the best. Nothing but the best. Depicting my home and various other attributes. This sword is named Chinook after the 150 mile an hour Colorado winter winds that we have. Ah, the Chinook winds. Yes, and then we have a number of other pieces that can be acquired. For instance, we have the lovely Orpheus dagger inspired by, of course, Orpheus in the underworld. This is a sculpted steel piece, original, one of a kind, which actually has been sold and will soon be going on display at the Pennsylvania Renaissance Festival. Uh -huh. Am I allowed to plug my booth at the Maryland Renaissance Festival? Well, Plus, tell you, I guess I just did. you just did, you just did, you just did. You do Penzik too? Uh, I do Penzik. Uh, this year I will be strictly going to recreate. Okay. Then we do uh, some of the more arg pirate nature pieces. Uh, this, of course, being a uh, raised steel uh, pirate cutlass in a, uh, well, maybe less than traditional fashion, but... We need one in an alien face. Think about it. Alien skull. Been there, done that. Thank oh. you. Oh, darn. <laughs> darn. For my cousins, you know. And, uh... Catherine, I'm sort of that And then, uh, oh, we go into uh, some other odd pieces. For instance... This little mayhem device uh, was actually something that came out of my scrap bin. Is that sharp? Is that sharp? Huh. Everything is sharp. This is one that is uh, yet to receive the uh, handles on it. We call this the sort of Feklar. Uh, for Star Trek aficionados, Feklar is the, the demigod that rules the realm where dishonored Klingons go when they die. And uh, this is an improvement on the standard batleth design that's what they call this type of weapon and it uh, it balances a little better in the hand it absorbs energy and doesn't send it directly to me instead of do you, do you use any peasants or peons to test these out to see if they can only if i can get a good price on okay them. okay all right we'll have to see about that and, uh, then let's see here for the more traditional nature i love traditional stuff you know guys oh i love it Slices, dices, makes julienne thighs. I love it. I love it. And I heard uh, that's also used for quick divorce, too. Well, we also specialize in contract negotiations, personnel deletions. Uh, we rescue damsels, kill monsters, you know, any oh, of the above. The, the dragons are tough, too. No. No. Not particularly. <laughs> this guy's <laughs> got this? it all. See this? 
Dragon Hide. Oh, I yeah. love it. I love Authentic it. Simulated Dragon Hide. I love it. I love it. And there's no EPA on the Dragon Hides these days either. And uh, and of course, then we do we do a small. Uh, uh, well, actually, a large selection of small pieces as well. I see a, would you, something I would call a crystal dagger, but I don't know what you... We do these. We actually sell these as bodice daggers. Uh, they come in a wide range of, of sizes, and they are designed to nestle into a lady's uh, cleavage. Uh, some people of alternative uh, religious pursuits like to use them for ritualistic or uh, perhaps a mail opener. Right, uh, we're, we're talking. Like. We're talking. Yes, well, we're talking yeah. to my pagan friends out there and my Wiccan friends. Hello, oh, and I don't want to offend the druids out there. We do have some druids in the audience. Scone, I know you're out there. And so, uh, well, I I love it. I love it. I, I know you got the small ones for the wearing. Yes, now these are actually the only product that we don't manufacture. Um, I spend a certain amount of time acquiring materials for my other pieces. And they complement the, the line. mineral show. Sure. And uh, so I'll pick these up to pass them on to my clients so that they can have, they can buy a knife and then they can pick this up for a pittance at my cost and, and uh, they can go away with something to advertise mm. their, their pursuits, much as your ears might. That's right. That's right. I got my ears from mom. Yeah, well, I think sure actually from dad, actually from dad, but you know, well, we won't talk about it. So, so well, I thank you. Well, thank, thank you very much for your time. Thank you very much. Uh, no jewelry. No jewelry. I, they took it. I lost it in the Beamer, actually. All right, on Zenbox Forte, we're gonna mosey on around Chiller and see what else we can say. Hey, pal, you're on my wire. How you doing? Hey, oh, I didn't mean to scare you. All right. That's Batu Khan. Batu Khan? Batu Khan. He's, he's my best friend. Oh, I can tell. I can tell. Nice dog. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, all these wires. I have huskies. Okay, Zenbach has done it. Another corner in Chiller. You know, in Chiller, you find unusual corners, but I'm with friends. Yes, Zenbach has friends. Volkers have friends. And I'm much older than this man here, Ed. But anyway, Ed, how you doing? Fantastic. Down here at Chiller for this year, new location. New location. New location. Yeah. And uh, I'm looking at T-shirts, and I'm looking at um, all kinds of neat stuff. So talk to me. What is the business about? Well, we're in the business of fantasy. Everybody likes fantasy. Yes, I love fantasy. But these are fantasies that you can put your fingers on. <laughs> I won't touch that. On. Maybe we shouldn't. We didn't say in. <laughs> okay. On. On. Okay. Around. Around. Okay, cool. And I, I see lots of dragons. Lots of dragons and unicorns. unicorns. And wizards. You got a pegasus or two in there. And cats. Lots of cats. Everybody likes cats. All right, show me, show me a couple of new items. Uh, new items. Down in here is something We got a dragon. Okay. Sun dragon, it's your oriental. That's a what? Oriental sun dragon. Cool. And this over here is uh, the old warrior dragon. That's a brand new piece. Wow. And up inside, excuse me, up inside we've got uh, the spirit wolf and the uh, panther gargoyle, as well as a small version of one of the cats. Yeah, like a bastet with, with wings. Yeah, that's a small version of one of the cats. Everybody wants a small version. So we got one done. And those are the newest pieces, actually. Different colors. Show me a couple shirts. You got. You have the greatest T-shirts. What's the matter? We're losing. We're going back. Too close. Okay, we're going back. This is something called the Jester. T-shirts. T-shirts. The Jester. This was actually an English English design. Okay. Cool. Very very cool. That's one. And then from the same people who make the uh, dragons and everything. Got this. this is one of the gargoyles that uh, is made. This is called the hyena gargoyle. All right. Hungry little fella, huh? Oh, yes. Huh. He'll, he'll, he'll eat all the evil in your house. Okay. Well, the evil in my house left. Uh, and then, I think they met her. And <laughs> then, uh, if you want to talk about Celtic, this is a wonderful Celtic shirt. And Ooh. That, yeah. That translates to a land without a language is a land without a soul. <laughs> it's a, I like that. It's a great land without a language is a land, land without, without a soul. soul. Ooh, I like that. But those are some of the best shirts that we've got right now. They keep going forever. Well, I know, I know. You've got you've got spacey shirts and universe shirts and all. A lot more Celtic. You know, 
So, well, before I disappear from here. Um, oh, I got a friend. Oh, I got a friend. Uh, I got a friend. His this, name is Dr. Blue. This, this young fellow is done for especially by a very good friend of ours down in Baltimore. Really? Yeah, these are handmade. And the dragons, they like it. They bond. Whew. I like them. Wow. Fellow. So how you doing? He's doing great. You having a good day today, huh? Oh, I think so. Cool. Well, you're at Chiller. I'm going to see if I can dig up one of the Scream Queens and send them down here. Okay. Oh, love Scream Queens. Yeah, love Scream Queens. I love Scream Queens. Guess my fur all fluffy. <laughs> Make your fur stand right up there, young oh. fellow. Do it all the time. So, all righty. Well, I thank you. Good I thank you. you. Be well. Great. You yeah, yeah. Zen's here. We've got plenty of heart, man. Hey. Oh. Hey. All heart. Vulcan hearts are very strong. Human hearts. You need a little locks. Little locks. That's yeah, locks. I'll work on it. All right, I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna leave the dragons lair, and I'm gonna just shuffle out that way. Bye. Well, I'm Zenbach, and I kind of remember you. I am surprised. I met you before. A long time ago, my dear. Yes, we have. Why is it that all my friends? reincarnate and look even better when they come back. I don't get it. Somebody's looking out for us, darling. Yeah. Somebody's looking out for yeah. us. I don't know. You and I, if I remember correctly, you were a wife from about the 1870s, 1880s. Um, past tense. Past tense. I know. I know. I know. I know. I know. I wasn't that bad, was I? Uh, you're all right. Oh, I, 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 I mean, I wasn't brutal, and I took my no, time. And, no, you weren't brutal. You know, you I mean. a little bit of that, you know. You know, you asked me to buy a farm, and I bought plantation, us a farm. Yeah, plantation, yeah, we, we have a plantation. I know, I know, and, and you, you said you liked the southern life. We, we I went, love the southern life. So we went down south, and we did it there. And, and then you asked me to go out and get all those horses. I got all those horses. Yeah. Yeah, I did that for you. And, see, I heard you were messing around with the maid. Yeah, well. <laughs> you know, and us southern girls don't have much tolerance for that kind of stuff. I, I know. But you picked the maids. Does it mean that you need to fool around with the house help? You know, but a, life, a man's got to have his life made, you know, and I, and I tried, you know. Yeah, you, but you have me. What do you need for I, the I know, I know. I, you can't and have I, I know, and I really, really got you ticked off, too. I'm sorry. You're upset. But yeah. you, look you, look you. you look great. You look great. You look great. You look great. So. And that's Zenbach with, with an X. Okay, now we're gonna do a slate. I want. Uh, Let's pull this one out. Yeah. All right, Larry. I want to do a slate. Gloria, hi. I'm Zenbach. We're at Chilla Theater, and yeah. it is spring. And here you are with things on your table. But talk to me about what you do. You know, you said one thing. This is Chilla Theater, and it is spring, and it is not chilly. No, it is not chilly. It is not chilly. And it's not scary either. No, it's not. But you know, it's wonderful, um, this uh, Chiller Theater. A lot of very creative people are here. I mean, the customers are very creative, such as yourself. I yeah. mean, wow, I'm not calling you a customer. Oh, okay. But uh, the patrons, I should say, here are very creative. They're coming in with creative ideas, creative costumes, talking about their writing. Some people are, are, are writers that want to be in the business and a very good writers or screen uh, people who are who do movies or plays or books photographs it's just a great environment and i'm enjoying myself mm -hmm. certainly and over here on my table i have um what i'm known for live and let die and there's a wonderful individual waiting for me to sign a picture uh, i did uh, roger moore's first um, as sean as um mr bond 007 <laughs> Uh, live and Let Die, and uh, Black Belt Jones I have here on the table, plus uh, some videos that I did with Fred Williamson. I did two movies with him, uh, Black Caesar, Hell Up in Harlem, I starred and co-starred, and Jim Brown, uh, Slaughter's Big Ripoff, I starred mm -hmm. with him, and uh, gosh, Black Belt Jones, another film with Jim Kelly, I starred with him. Listen, you ever get yeah. a part for a Vulcan, let me know. I sure will. Yeah. And, I'm having a good and time. You, and you sing? Yes, I'm a jazz singer. 
And I also do theater. And theater. I just finished doing a play called uh, Waiting Room. And previous to that, um, I did a, a Just One More Day, an original piece, which we're looking forward to opening at Cal State University wow. this fall. Wow. So, um, You're a busy yeah, person. Busy. You're a it's busy person. Busy creatively. Well, which is wonderful. Isn't that, isn't yes. that always having something yes. going? I'm going to let you get to your fans. They want, they want signatures, okay. and I appreciate your time. Thank you. Thank you very much. And I'm going to disappear this way. Hey. All right, Zenbach has done it. I have Liz next to me here and this beautiful lady over here. And we are at Chiller. This is Chiller Theater. So talk to me, Liz. I like your ears. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Something to hang on to for sure. Ah, I'm glad you like my ears. So talk to me. You're, you're, you're showing some of your work on the table, and I see a book. Oh, yes. what, what do you got here? Well, well what about the book particularly? I've got myself streaking Hollywood and Vine at high noon. And then this other streaking picture is Mayor Aliota asked me to streak his political campaign because that got so much notice. And this is just a nice headshot for ladies and people that don't want nudes. And there, uh, there is the same streaking shot in color. And the books, Lyle Stewart, my publisher, brought over because he had some left and thought my fans would like them. And we've been selling them like hotcakes around here. Excellent. And uh, let's see, this is Karen. This is Karen, my beautiful granddaughter, who came here to assist me and help me. Guys, check this out. <laughs> tried to steal her away but I didn't let him get away with it yeah. and uh, we, we just been having a lot of fun and just meeting all kinds of fans and John Waters came over and uh, visited us both days he had to leave and uh, he won't be here tomorrow but while he was here we just had a lot of fun with him too and then uh, some people came that are whisking us away tonight to New York to Mary Ann's uh, for a party they're giving in my honor. And then we're going to leave there when that's over and rush back here in hopes we catch the tail end of the party here. So we've been kind of busy all right, all <laughs> having right. fun and meeting people. And uh, I didn't really know I had as many fans as showed up here. See that? See that? Yeah, people people know you. I have a lot of fans. Let me show you. Okay. Now here's what a lady that came by named uh, Star Bob Star, and she wrote. And it's Star Bob Star on the yeah. back of it. Is how it's done? Strange name. What do you think? Star Bob Bob. <laughs> come on, come on. Thing like that Prince. Bob uh. Star. Well, Star Bob Star. Yeah. Anyway, she said I'm an inspiration to her, and my beauty is unmatched. And I thought that was very nice for a lady to say. No, uh, I've just had uh, all kinds of good things and fun things, and we found out they have a, a heated pool, a, a indoor heated pool in the jacuzzi here, and we said after the parties we're still going to have fun if it's open. Mm. <laughs> Do you know Zenbach has a thing for jacuzzis, and I get in hot water with a jacuzzi, and sometimes, <laughs> hi there, out of hot water, hi there. I always get in hot water, but um, you know. I've been in hot water most of my life. <laughs> yeah, well. But you, but you look very well for that. It suits Thank you well. It suits you Thank well. You. And my dear, you, you, modeling, is this new for you? No, not really. Yeah, it is. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So how do you feel about it? Well, I think it's fun. I like character acting and just tiny little things. I've done a lot of theater and stuff just in my hometown, military mm -hmm. base, things like that. So, so, so you, you do the, the, the actual theater. I haven't done theater. I've done film, but I haven't done theater yet. The actual theater. I mean, it's Oh, no, no, no. Anytime you got to stand in front of people like them, that's theater. And uh, we gave her a picture to John Waters, and we told him that we want to be in his next movie. And right now, his uh, best friend, one of his best friends, Todd Oldham, uh, just bought the movie rights from uh, my book, My Face for the World to See, and he's getting ready to do a movie version of my life. Wow. Mm -hmm. Wow, wow. And I'm having fun already because he paid 250000 for the rights. And that was neat. <laughs> uh, uh, you know, I wasn't expecting Listen, that. I need a new dilithium I crystal for the spaceship. Just, Maybe well, we can talk about Alonia. They're about, oh, they're well, about 250,000. I, I just got a call from William Morris out of the blue. And I, I thought it had been so long since the book came out that 
that was a finished issue on to the next thing, you know, been there, done that. And all of a sudden I get this call from William Morris and uh, they asked me if I would consider $250,000 for the movie rights. And oh, I didn't even haggle. I just said, oh, absolutely. <laughs> and I was so happy that uh, somebody as talented as Todd is going to be the one to do it. Well, that's great. Mm -hmm. That's great. It's great. And right now, I'm also, uh, I just signed with a lecture bureau, Bruce Marin Lech, Celebrity Speakers Bureau, and I'm getting ready to do all kind of lectures all over the universities and corporate meetings and everything on art and writing. Art and writing. So I'm having fun. See, that, that proves another point. Having uh, lots multi, of fun. multi, multi talented Ooh, people. I won't mess up your. Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, I have a reaction to my I, ears. I just, it, I just, just, it just gets I to me. I won't touch them, I promise. Oh, okay. I'd like to, but oh, I won't. Because they just look too fantastic. Oh. I think you should keep them. Oh, I'll keep them. They're mine. They look like a I got my ear. I got. Sears. I got. Yeah, I got my ears from Dad. Well, yeah. I think they look like a Seder or Centaur or Sears. So oh, Seder, yeah. I got the horns. Yeah. <laughs> I have a few friends with a few horns. I have. I a, have some horny friends too. <laughs> yes. Yes. Well, <laughs> hmm? Yes. All right. Oh, okay. All righty. Yep. <laughs> All righty, we're going to go, and I thank you for your time. Thank you. Bye, my Very dear. Nice. You know, I was walking by, and you look familiar to me. You're like one of the most beautiful women I've ever met in my whole life. You already forgot about me. No! How could you? How no. could you? Wait, 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 wait a sec. I know you? You know me damn well. You know me a little too well. <laughs> Uh-oh. Um, a couple of years ago, or further back. How could you forget? Those were the best years of your life. Not the days of the kerosene lamps. Yes, those uh -oh. were the days. Uh-oh, Zenbach <laughs> found another ex-wife. And, and, and that was and a... And this one's <laughs> gonna be a Oh, no! <laughs>